Good morning, good evening from wherever you are watching us. Welcome to this new and exciting tutorial where we are going to be learning how to embed HTML in Gmail email. So to do this, I'm going to be adding a relevant HTML. For instance, I'll go to my Shopify account and in this YouTube channel, we have so many videos on how to use Shopify but in this case, I'm going to quickly create a product and then I'll come back to my Gmail and embed that product's HTML to my Gmail email. So quickly on my Shopify, I'll come to products and then I'll click on add product. I want to add a product quickly. Then I can share it on my email as HTML. I'll come to the top here and I'll call it ladies bags, the product, ladies handbags. And then down here, I can give the description of that product. I'll just simply call it ladies handbags. And then I'll come down here and add the files. I'll go to my PC, select a file there, and then click on open so that I add the media to my product there. And then I can add the price here. I'll put that at 3000. And then I can add all these other details. But the focus in this tutorial is simply to show you how to add now this product's HTML to my Gmail or to embed the HTML for this product to my Gmail. So I'll just leave it at this and just click on save so that now we have our product added there. If I click on preview, you notice now I have the ladies handbags added at 3000. The quantity here, we are still on our Shopify. So I want now to share this HTML on my Gmail. So how do I do that? You simply come to the site whose HTML you want to share. Then you right click. Once you right click, you notice all these details, but from below here, you notice we have inspect and view page source. You click on view page source and it will open these codes and these codes are quite long up to the end. And this is what we need to copy. Now, if you decide to drag up from the top downwards, you may miss on a few things. So the best way would be you just click on it anywhere and then press Control A so that you select everything. Then Control C to copy the normal way you copy, or you can right click and click on copy. So now we have copied that HTML for our ladies' handbags here. So we now go back to our Gmail there. And then the normal way you compose an email, you click on compose. On the top right top left corner here and then you'll put the email of the recipient there and then you'll put the subject there for instance let me just put the subject here to be my products on shopify and then you now come to the body and this is where we want to paste or to embed our html if we paste it directly this way now i've just pressed on Control v you notice what happens. We just get something like this, and this is not what we want. We want it to look exactly like this one here. So we cannot paste that directly. So how do we go about it? So I'm going to select all this and delete it. So now I still have it empty. And now you simply put any numbers here, numbers that maybe you can remember. I'll put 777777 that way. And then you highlight that. Then you right click on it and then you click on inspect. So by clicking on inspect, you'll open the elements console here and then you'll notice that one where your numbers will be, it will be highlighted. You notice something highlighted here in blue and the digits we added here, 7777 are added here. So from here, you simply right click on that and then you click on edit as HTML. And that gives you now the option to edit the numbers that you added here. All these sevens that we had added, we can now edit them. You notice we can change that. 
So you simply delete all that, the numbers we added, and then you paste what we had copied. You can press Ctrl V and you paste that, but you can still do it the normal way, right clicking and then clicking on paste. Now we have just pasted this source that we copied here, but we have pasted it in our Gmail account after replacing the numbers we had typed. Now we have closed that and we come back to our email where we were composing. You notice this is how our email looks like. You simply close it. And by closing that, it loads and takes you to the page now. You notice we are still in our Gmail and down here we have our HTML page added. You notice it is as it is in the store. So if I click on the store here, you notice we have the ladies handbags and the picture and everything. If I click on my Gmail at the top here again, you notice we have our product there. So let me maximize this to make it look the way it looks in the other page. So here we have it. So you now notice our HTML has been embedded in our Gmail email. So now from here, you can do the normal way you do it, how you type, you simply type here who the recipient is, and then the subject here we had already added, and then you can now click on send. And once you send this, it will appear to your recipient just as it is on this side. And so to quickly go over that again, let me just close this, it will be under drafts. To quickly go over that again, how we did it, let me just close this again. We are still now in our ladies' handbags. Let me select a different product now for my store. I go to products. I want now to share the HTML for this elephant. I click on the product there. Then I want to I want you to preview the image and the product there. It's this image and the details are here at 100. So I want now to share this one as HTML. Quickly just repeating what you have just done. You right click on that, view page source and takes you here, you select all that, and then you press Ctrl C or you simply copy, and then you go back to your Gmail, you click on Compose, and then you simply type the email of the person you are sending to, you type the subject there, so let me just type the subject here, let me just type it as elephant painting, elephant painting, and then you come to the body, you just type anything. Let me type now QQQ like that. And then you highlight what you have typed. You right click on it. You click on inspect. And then it loads this code again. And the part where you type the Q will be highlighted in this blue color. So our Qs are here. You right click on that. And then you click on edit as HTML. Then you can now come to where your cues are or the numbers you typed. You delete all of them. And remember on our clipboard is what we had copied. So I'm now going to press Ctrl V, that is to paste. Or you can right click and then paste. So Ctrl V, paste. And now the HTML has been pasted there. Now I close this just once. And then it takes me now to my Gmail. You notice now we are in Gmail and our elephant has been added there. We can maximize that to view it nicely. And this is how now it looks like. So we have now added or embedded our HTML in Gmail. So that is simply how you do that. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.